In the web GUI of NeoGate TE, create a VOIP trunk. The trunk type is Service Provider. Define the provider name. In hostname slash IP, enter the IP address of 3CX. And keep the default port. Click Save. Under Status, click Trunk Status. And we will see the connection status is OK. Next, we enter 3CX Phone System Management Console. Click Add VOIP Provider Wizard. and define the name of provider. Under country, choose generic. And under provider, choose generic zip trunk. And click next. In SIP server hostname or IP, enter the IP address of NeoGate TE. The server port is 5060. In outbound proxy hostname or IP, also enter the IP address of NeoGate TE. For the outbound proxy port, keep the default 5060. Click Next. Enter external number. The number should be different from the registered extension number of 3CX. Next, enter the maximum simultaneous calls. Then we set the destination of the calls and click Next. In this page, we click Skip. The configuration is complete. Click Port slash Trunk Status. The status shows Registered. Step 1. Enter the web GUI of NeoGate TE. Under Gateway, click Roots List. And add new route. In simple mode, choose Yes. and define the root's name. In call comes in from, choose trunk E1 trunk 1. And send call through the service provider trunk that is connected to 3CX. Click Save. Step 2. Back to the management console of 3CX. Click Create DID.
and define the inbound route name. The type is DID slash DID number slash mask. And in the field, enter a DID number of E1 trunk. The available ports is the NeoGate TE trunk we created in 3CX. Next, we decide the destination of the calls. Click Apply and OK. Step 3. Enter the VOIP Providers page. Choose the NeoGate TE trunk and click Edit Provider. Click Source ID. And check Source Identification by ID. And click Add DID. In the pop up window, check the DID number we entered in Step 2. And click OK. Now we use an external number to dial the DID number of E1 trunk. The corresponding 3CX extension rings. Step 1. Create outbound rules in the console of 3CX. Define the root's name. Input a number in the field, calls to numbers starting with prefix like 9. In call from extensions, enter the appropriate extension range. In Route 1, choose the NeoGate TE trunk. And in Strip Digits, choose 1. Click Apply and OK. Step 2. Enter the VOIP Providers page. Choose the NeoGate TE trunk and click Edit Provider. Click Outbound Parameters. In zip field, choose From Display Name. And change the variable to caller display name. Choose from user part. And also change the variable to caller display name. Click Apply and OK. Step 3. Back to the web interface of NeoGate TE to create a new route.
In simple mode, choose yes. And define the root name. In call comes in from, choose the service provider chunk that is connected to 3CX. In send call through, choose the chunk E1 chunk 1. Click save. Step 4. Enter the E1 T1 edit page. In DoD, enter a DID number of E1 trunk. Fill in extension number of 3CX in associated extension. Click Add DoD and save the configuration. Now we use this 3CX extension to dial an external number. The external number rings. The caller ID is the associated DOD number. <laughs> 